A recent check by FMT found that more than 20 shop lots in Kuala Lumpur's Chinatown had been put up for sale or for rent. Only a handful of convenience stores and restaurants were still operating. KL Hawkers and Petty Traders Association Chairman Ang Se T said the burden of overhead costs forced 20% of shops in the area to shut operations last year, and they stayed closed for the most part of 2020. He told FMT even more shops could close this year, saying he would not be surprised if 50% of Petaling Street businesses would shutter before the year ended. It's horrible, really horrible, he said. Even if they open, they won't get any business. Even though eateries can open now, they still don't get many customers because no one goes out. How to survive? Stalls are doing badly, shops are doing badly. Previously, Petaling Street had so many stalls selling bags, clothes, shoes and food. Now, they can't sell anything. We have shops selling confectionery and cakes that are doing badly. There's even a shop that's over 100 years old that isn't doing well. Foreign tourists used to account for most of the shoppers in Petaling Street but now they are gone because international borders are closed. He said aid packages announced by the government had helped a bit, but he lamented there was not much that Putrajaya could do to really get the businesses back on their feet. COVID-19 must be over before people will come here to do business, he said. There's no business even if we open now. I just hope the virus will subside.